see. <clears throat> and grab a handful of soil. Not yeah, much. Make sure you get all the litter out of it. You don't want any roots to change your texture. Rocks, not good. You just want soil, so make sure all those little heads are actually soil. That looks pretty good. Take your fancy dancy squirt bottle. You just want to add a little bit of water and start working it in your hand. And here I'm just trying to form a ball. That's the first test that you do with the soil. You just wet it down, break the peds open, and try to form a ball. If it doesn't form a ball, you've got a lot of sand. If it forms a ball, there's potential to have loam and clay in it. So this forms a pretty good ball. So my next move is to wet it down just a little bit more. You kind of want it the, the consistency of Play-Doh. You played with that as a kid. Not, not too wet, not too dry. What I'm gonna do next is called the ribbon. You squeeze between your index thumb and or your index finger and your thumb. There you go. What I'm doing here is I'm just slightly pressing up. I can tell you already that this soil isn't wet enough because that ribbon didn't stick together very well. So you just kind of have to practice with soil texturing. It takes time to kind of get to know how to do things correctly. That's a little bit better. There's a little bit more moisture. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. That's forming about an inch ribbon. That's about the size of my thumb. So there's a flow chart that you can follow and depending on how big your ribbon is, it'll give you a, a certain uh, kind of soil texture you should be looking at. The next thing you should do is take a little bit of soil like so. And I call this the extreme wetness test. You just wet it down and kind of just swirl around. What you're feeling for here is either gritty texture or smooth texture. A gritty texture would be sand and a smooth texture would be silt. So this one kind of has both. It's kind of gritty. You can kind of see that. I can see that kind of gritty there that that should feel gritty there's a little bit of smooth with it so you're kind of in the middle so without a flow chart I would call this a loam because it's neither gritty nor smooth and I can form about an inch ribbon so I would call this a loam